Well, hello, this is Jimmyism Total Notary Channel, and I am here with some very basic tutorials. Yes, we will actually be looking how to make the simplest cannons possible with no mods required at all. Now I decided to make a lot of different, small, fast, very very basic cannon tutorials for Gareth's mod that will use props and no mods at all. Uh, and the first one we will look at is make a simple mortar uh, or bombardment cannon. So you can find here in general, you find the build things and then you select this short or the longer tube. And um, if you're watching this, this is something else you probably want to know. If you hold your fist gun to move this around and then hold E, you can rotate this around like this. can be very useful for aligning stuff. As you see, it's very hard to get perfect angles. Then you shift E and then you will get straight nice angles like this. Very useful. Now. We will take this thing here and put it on the back of this barrel. This will be our cannon barrel. Whoops. And now we will actually leave a little gap here because you want to, of course, ignite your cannon. Uh, what you can do is also have turrets, uh, but they are not in the default game um, as they were removed. So, to make it completely with no mods required, uh, we will have this gap here so we can ignite them manually. Uh, then you have your weld tool, left click and left click. And then you will have, well, a ever so simple little cannon base. Now there are different, thing, uh, different ways to do this and I will show you most of them. But one thing we will do is go to uh, physical properties. You see I have more tools than you if you have no mods, but that's no matter. Now you should be going to eyes or super eyes. And then you see enable gravity should be checked. Paste this on that one. And now we will have removed most of the friction. So, the simplest way to make a cannon is taking the explosive barrels, can be found in the construction props, um, these ones. And then, to make an explosive charge, we drop two of them in there. Now acquire a Half-Life 2 pistol, and it might be it's perfect for shooting once at a cannon, twice, and then it ignites a shot like this, so it flies away. Uh, the explosion however occurs higher in the air, so to be able to make some good damage to our enemy, we actually need to align this a bit more like this, and it should be good. Now it's loaded again, and we can go here and we can fire two shots at the barrel. And it will fly away, and we will have a more near the ground, um, well, detonation. Now, as I said, there are other things to do this. I just want to show you. Let's have some zombies. And uh, I should just fastly reload this. And. Okay, something like this. We can go back, and we can fire twice. And we hope that it hits. Well, a few died. So you see, that works all right. Now we just need to manually take this out here. Oops. Now I will show you the other way to do mortar cannons. And then you go into dynamite. You can find it under construction. Dynamite, it should be deconstruction. Uh, okay, have remove an explosion unchecked. You will put the damage up to the maximum level, like 500. The model for dynamite doesn't really matter. Uh, and well, we can now also use weld easy. So we left click with our welding tool 
No, right click. We right click and then we right click again and you can see it's perfectly welded over there. Uh, and if you have force limit to something else other than zero, it can be broken. So keep that in mind. Then you spawn a drum, a oil drum. Uh, these cannot be ignited. Oh, like this. This can not be ignited. Um, so then you just take it and you put it down in this tube. Uh, where after you put the explosive one in the tube. And uh, as you go to explosive or dynamite, dynamite I mean, you see here the button you have assigned for uh, the task of exploding it. So you press that button and you see that it gets a bit farther. It's a bit better as well as you don't need to light it up manually, but you do need to have two ammo shots. And then, well, you can experiment with different types of ammo. Uh, like if you do like this, you can have a explosive barrel on there. And then let's say we want to have some, well, I don't know, shells, shotgun shells spreading around, uh, then we might want to put on some more props we, as we see fit, and that was not very fit. Alright, like this, it will probably not fly very far as it's quite heavy now, but if we fire it off, oh, it flew far, and well, the debris didn't hit anyone, but it worked. Then of course we can do like this, we can go to here and we can take the desired stuff and like spawn it then we weld it easy weld it like this and we can actually then go to our dupes uh, or first you need to go to your dupe here in the menu and we could actually save this thing so we could use it anytime we desired instead of doing it every time. And this is slightly different, they sit together, but then it works just the same. So, that's that. How to make a very, very, very simple mortar cannon in Garry's Mod. Thank you very much for watching, and do check my other basic tutorials. We will do some more um, basic stuff as I have seen the wishes for that to be made. So here it is. Well, thank you very much for watching. Jimmyism Total Notary Channel officially out.